Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Monsieur Mokolovayar, and we're playing as Shields Army. Now we're in the middle of a war against the evil forces of Los and Carbon. Or Carbon. We have a focus to do and we, they've lost 71 guys against us so far, but we gotta get to this or talk about this in just a little bit. But we gotta do a focus first. Let's see. Hawkish specialization, civilian specialization. I'm thinking max factories is probably better than 10% efficiency cap. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do FEV procurement just so we get some weekly manpower for a year. Not only can we purchase information stored within the terminal, but also purchase services from it. It is willing to extrapolate the location of more FEV for us if we were to purchase such a task from it. Cool, so, couple comments. First of all, the way to win the war against these guys is to just block, just attack. we got to attack right now, kill off carbon as fast as we can, so this way we can rescue the defenses on our western portion of our front here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack like crazy right now, and uh, hopefully they kill them off. That'd be really good. All but one, go right there. Good, good, good. And you know what, you guys? I'm going to force the attack so we can just move in quickly. So carbon is ours. That's awesome. You guys come up there. You are going to go ahead and... Uh, actually, you do that and that. You are going to snake around and take out Matron's Station. Or Matron's Mill, really. Go, 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 go. Doesn't matter what happens. we got to attack, 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 attack. You guys attack as well. You guys attack, 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 attack. And then you guys attack here as well. But actually, you go here because they... Oh, so they don't do anything. Oh, they're holding off over here. Actually, that's kind of not bad. They're holding off, sort of. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that. Come on. Nice. There we go. Now, they should collapse now. Hey, you know what? Let's go straight up to Los. How many men have we lost? We've lost 24. That's not bad, actually. Oh, crap. They found us. How are they not... Okay, now they're dead. I'm like, how are they not dead yet? Cool, so that's not bad. So that was one of the comments, is rush them. You have to rush them. If you don't rush them, you ain't going to do well. Uh, other than that, let's see. Let's go over here and do this. It's probably not a good idea. Go and attack, actually, back at them. Because now we have plenty of divisions. We've conquered carbon. We don't have to read about that, so that's great. We've got seed selection next, which is awesome. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's not do that stuff yet. Let's grab some more plant cultivation. Cool. We've got quite a few comments to go through as well, so. Uh, that'll be fine. That'll be dandy. You guys, you gotta help push in. You gotta help push in right now. There's no stopping this crazy train. We got some breakthrough. Soft attack, hard attack. Now, we get a choice here whether we can do early training regimen for 10% more hardness for mutants and 5% more hardness for behemoths. Or organization. Now, I'm gonna just automatically select this one because we get 10% more hardness for mutants. I'm sorry to say, but these mutants, they are not that hard. So, 0%, 10%, 10% more for 0%. Isn't that much? So, uh, we'll talk about some more comments once we get through this section too. So, you've got to win right now. You've got to win. Come on, come on. If they can win up here, that would probably be the most important thing here. Uh, yeah, we're going to incur quite a few casualties. Ooh, what does she want now? Ooh. Someone did recommend I use Calix actually as our field marshal, so I am considering it right now. But we'll see what happens. Let's be inspirational, so it doesn't hurt us as much. So, I think we do lose her in the end too. So, how are these guys as strong? Actually, you're winning, but you're winning over there. Actually, what is your strength level, guys? Los. What is going on? 1 to 2,000. They have up to 21 divisions. So be it. Purchase FEV. Not bad, not bad. Uh, study specialized equipment. Might as well. The wasteland is filled with hundreds of specialized pieces of equipment that hint at intricacies of warfare being before the bombs. While there isn't enough of any one type to supply an army's worth of specialists, there's enough to study, refurbish, and to general support equipment. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Another division or two. Good. That's fine. But really, actually, we're going to cut these guys way down, actually. Cut them way, 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 way back. How are you not... Hold on. Hold on. How are we not doing that well against these guys? They're not that strong. They don't have any anything on them. Just like us. Oh, this is disappointing. This is incredibly disappointing. How can you not win? Okay, you're all pathetic. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. So I'm just going to magically do this. we got to make these guys 10 combat with... Or, actually... Screw the equipment. We're making a new 20 combat with immediately. Boom. Let them attack us. Let them waste themselves on the line. I've wasted too many guys. Actually, that's not too bad. 200 guys is not bad. 20 combat with divisions where it's at, though. And this way, th now they're attacking us. Well, it'll help us win. Help us win, actually. Even though we're really out of infantry equipment right now. Whatever. I really don't care. Speed suppression. Whatever. So this way, it'll make us stronger. Makes them weaker. Which will be a good thing. Even though we gotta make sure we got enough of this going. Caravan guards is not gonna cut it. Waste on pacification, that'd be good. Even though we don't have enough infantry equipment for this, we're still getting more daily compliance, which is probably the most important thing to get. 
absolutely. So since we're waiting now, and we're doing okay here, we actually have 20 army XP too, or air XP I should say. A couple comments. First of all, yes, training these divisions earlier did cost us more equipment, so that's why I cut these guys down a little bit more. Actually, cut these guys down to one then. That'd be fine for now, just so we can save some equipment right now. That'd be good. So yes, we cut that. Oh, Calyx falls. Oh, good. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Nothing, nothing bad happens. City specialized equipment. Let's go ahead and grab some more max factories. Eh, we can wait on that. Let's do green energy. Electricity is an important resource to ensure most people can have their homes and workplaces powered. We should commission the construction of wind farms and refurbish old fusion generators. It's no Hoover Dam, but it'll keep the lights on and the toaster working. Very good. Let's see. I'll capture the Warren. Goodbye, Warren. Oh, this is looking even better. It's slowly going down, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, the TWA. Ooh, that is... Ooh, that is not bad for them to go to war now. Hopefully we can finish this war soon-ish. We've only killed off how many? Only 700, 800 some. That's not great, but that's not bad. Uh, this is going to be a kind of pain in the butt later, but that's okay. So, someone, like I said earlier, one of the comments was to rush carbon, which we did, which you did really well with, actually. Another one is, someone says we will eventually lose Calyx, I think, or something like that. So, we best be careful with Calyx. We might lose her eventually. That's why I'm kind of apprehensive to enabling her as a field marshal, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, beloved leader, less defense, more recovery rate. Nah, cunning leader, nah. For her divisions, is she going to be field marshal? If we make her field marshal, well, then she's got to get some more recovery rate. And a song from the front. If you want to read about this, Shale's army forces have fought heroically against their enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We can play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. I want more war support, but I think right now political power is probably going to be key. Let's grab more political power so we're not in the deficit zone anymore, which would be a good thing. Oh my gosh. Well, well we're not attacking for 20 days then. Nope. Nope. Uh, do you have any other upgrades for guys? Yes. Oh, Savage Leader. Yes. I gotta go Savage Leader. There's no question. There's no contesting that. Gun Nut. No, that wouldn't be very good. Strong Back. Eh. Not really worth it either. So, a couple of comments. We will lose Calus eventually. Play as the Ironmongers. Eventually, I, I, I promise I will play as the Ironmongers. As well as New Vegas again sometime. Anti tank. Electronics manufacturing. So, unlike electri electricity, water, and metal, electronics are not the kind of resource that can be drawn from the land itself. Producing even simple electronic circuits and components requires specialized factories that are suited to small scale manufacturing. Recent plans draw up just such a set of facilities. Great. Great, great, great. So, we got the. This stuff, which we get. And it looks like what we're probably going to have to do is get some. Uh. Field hospitals. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need some of this too, so. Because we're lacking some serious manpower, but eventually we will be able to core some areas, so that'll be good. Alright, Los, you want to kill every single soldier you have, huh? It's fine with me. It's going to take a while to kill them off, but that's alright. And it's getting us more experience. And actually, getting more experience for a soldier is a very good thing. Let's see. Let's see. Also, we are still in civilian economy. Uh, well, actually, well, we kind of were. We're not in civilian economy anymore. But yeah, we did go to well equipped army, which would be good. We're still building this stuff up at this point. I'm not really too concerned about it. We'll, we'll still build it, but we'll build it later, later on. Maybe we'll need it again someday, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Plant cultivation is nice. Very good. We've got more compliance and resistance. Flexible designs. Don't really need to worry about that right now. Uh, support stuff. Doggos would be good. We don't really have the industry for it. Anything over here? Yes. Grab some more research speed. Let's see, use Calyx as a field marshal, and Calyx is thick. That was one of the comments from yesterday. Yes, she is quite thick. Um, I'll say... Oh my god, again. I'll say this about her. <clears throat> She's going to get an upgrade later on, so... Just better watch out for her. We'll put it like that. And we're not even going to make divisions right now. We've got enough. 31 is pretty good. TAA is looking not bad either, which is pretty good, too. Alright, well, they're still attacking. Giving our guys some more experience, which is nice. It's very, very nice, actually. Alrighty, tidy. Electronics manufacturing. Not bad if I do say so myself. I'd like to get this done, too. So, clear sky construction. We can build all the factories, roads, and docks we want, but even just a single bomb can knock out a workshop for days, if, we're not, if not weeks. A blanket of anti-air guns will ensure that enemy pilots have a hard time damaging industrial targets, even if they maintain air superiority. Now we got enough to do stuff here. The promise of loot. We could... Oh, war support's really good to get. Really, really good. I really want some more war support. However, I do want to get to Outsider Battalions. This gives us more daily compliance and you get more non-core manpower, which we are desperately going to need. Uh, war support will be really good, though. Mm. It doesn't really help us that much right now, though. Yeah, it helps when, you, when we're defending core territory, but we're already winning anyways, so... And 0.68 is not a lot, so I think we'll probably save it for something else. I think it's just best to go to Outsider Auxiliaries. 
Because even though we're getting more compliance every day here, which is great and all, the faster we can get it done, the better. How many men have they lost? Or super mutants? Or ghouls? They're really ghouls. 2,000. That's not enough. Oh, no. Oh, that's not bad. Division speed. I, I'm not too worried about division speed. They're running out of manpower, which is great, great, great. Actually, let's not forget to throw this on there as well. Hey, infantry equipment is not looking bad. Almost nine a day. Not bad. Sign up for that stuff. It's awesome. Of course, we'll probably attack here first once everything's said and done. After that, that's still ahead of time. Grab some uh, smoke signals. That'd be good. How much support equipment do we have? 600. Would it be possible to throw on this? Yes, it would. Now, it's going to cost us even more manpower, but about 300 more manpower, which isn't that bad. So, let's grab some behemoths of industry. Which more max factories in a state, recruitable population, and resource efficiency gain plus 10%. We finally achieved a modern, varied economy between extraction and the production of both civilian and war materials. Any rival wasteland sh stand should find themselves both green with envy, not as green as us, though, and afraid of our capability. Cool. <clears throat> We're just missing just a few pieces of infantry equipment, which is not bad at all. Not bad. I hope that we can build, 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 build all well, two at a time. Well, God, that's not good. But yeah, I mean, they're just murdering their own manpower, which is fine with me, but... Hey. Oh, the... Who? 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 Grand... Who is that? Hello. Jacobia the Wrathful. Cutting the slipjack. What is... I've never seen the Grand Inquisition. Oh, please tell me there's going to be a poker street for them someday. Oh, I hope to God that there is. That looks so cool. I never knew that something like that existed. Holland to declare war on the Black Canyon. Very nice. Very, very nice. Plenty of support equipment, which is very good. And a cup of coffee to keep us nice, warm, green super mutants energized. Only 2,800 casualties. I mean, casualties for us is not bad. It just takes time for us to get things done. Oh, what's happening? Warden, oh, wow. Warden was actually annexed. Okay, this is... Remember, this is on A historical, so we'll see what happens. Just let them waste themselves. We've got plenty enough army XP for the future, at least for a while. We'll have enough equipment soon enough. So, actually, by having a big enough army now, this will set us up so we can take out any other enemies more, more quickly in the future. So, that is my main goal. And right now, we get more organization. Now, we could get some hardness again. But like I said, being hard as a mutant doesn't do really anything for us. So, speed, it's okay. Light infantry doctrine, but, you know. Or you basically get nothing. Behemoths of industry, it will be nice. Oh, we get a border war to stake the state. We'll try for now. The TWA has found themselves in a vulnerable position. Perhaps we can take a bite out of them once they're busy. Unlock border war decision. So it's a decision. We don't have to do it yet. So we just got to wait a little bit of time. Even though we could also just not do a focus and get some political power too. That is also a good option to take. For sure, they're out of manpower. So that is good. Very, 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 very deliciously good. What do you have... Oh, you're an Urban Assault Specialist? Ooh, that's pretty rare. I think we're going to go Desert Fox first, though, just because around here, that's, I think that's a little bit more usable, especially if we move around Texas a little bit more. Ooh, anything Power of Might? That's not bad. Recruitable population goes down, but... Hmm. This one's really good. I don't want to lose defense. Yeah, we got to wait. <clears throat> non more non-core manpower would be really good. So if you take both of these... Actually, you take all three. I mean, you get basically 1% more non-core manpower. That's fine. Built tough is not bad. That's okay. That's okay. It's just best to get this one. Look at that manpower. I mean, we are increasing conscription level too, but whatever. We only have 0% stability, that's all. Casually having 0% stability. That's all. Sun Doggerinos and the Black Sun at the same time. Well, good luck, guys. <clears throat> Alright, well, we'll see. Because I want to make them as weak as possible. Oh, come on. Don't, don't take the workshop, man. Come on. Resistors are nice, though. Research speed, vacuum tubes, yes. It is 2277, so happy new year, my friends. Even though it is already February, but whatever. Okay, so are they done attacking? Three, two, one. Can we force our way this way? And half you guys are going to force your way up here. I'm going to take half you guys as well. You guys go here to here to there. The Masticator, urban assault specialist, that will be become handy or useful. There you go. Oh, oh, we can't force the attack with these guys. That's all right. Yeah, he's level six already. I mean, he's been doing really well. And this, these early wards does give us a lot of experience for the future, which is awesome, 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 which I really, really like. A lucrative opportunity, just in case. Ooh, sell off the spoils of war. 
Resistance circuit goes down, revive the matrons. I like that, but carbon has to be a subject of us, so we can't do that. So let's solve the spoils of war then. The mistake Addis made when he destroyed this place was that he underestimated the tenacity of these people to re inhabit here. We need to get the people out of here if we want to ensure that this town can't come back again. Let's sell off the population into slavery, destroy their culture from the bottom up. Which two places get resistance target minus 20%, which probably would have been better to take earlier on, but hey, whatever. And circle and destroy them. Crush every single one of them if we can. And we will attack immediately as soon as uh, we can. Us, we'll still win here, maybe. Oh, it's only one division going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's help out right here immediately then. That'll be good. That'll be nice. Just crush them. And if that's the case, you guys can move up this way too. That'll be good. Yep, yeah. ghouls versus super mutants. Not as good as I had hoped it would be. Let's kill these guys off, get these guys to the front, and then just have a general attack, probably. Compliance-wise, how's it going? Not bad. Do we have enough infantry equipment? No, we don't. Of course not. Why would we? Oh, no. No, I'm not clicking that. No. We've got... No. For the love of God, no. Are you kidding me? We're going to finish this war first. Go to Los. We've only killed off 5,000 of them. So, we've lost 250, which is not bad. Around 250, of course. Alright, so you should be able to win. And you're going to force the attack right now. There's no peace for these guys. You guys all go right there. Take Los. Because if we if we get hit with this, we got to wait then to, to attack. Because this is just straight not good. Oh god, we've got two days left. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got all the way up here too. Smoke signal is nice. Very good. Grabs into code signals. That's nice. Oh, now we got hit by the... the uh, why... Why do you pay me so? Sell off the spoils of war? Purchase weapon schematics. Within the shop tech terminal are some old weapon schematics we can purchase to use, put use in our army. I oh, screw it. We're still attacking. I don't care. We're still attacking. Okay, they're dead. We've only killed off 6,000, so... Hey, it took us quite a while. I mean, I could puppet them, but... I prefer direct rule from Fort Stockton. Now, now that we're done with that, I'm also going to go to war with these guys, too. Nice. Conquest of TWA. Oh, we're going to need political power for this, aren't we? Oh, no, no, no. All owned states available for border war. All generals available for border war. Plans of border war. Unlocks the GUI to go to do a border war. I'm not going to make any more divisions for now since we will need... Actually, we did get some infantry equipment from that. But that costs more manpower. I'll, we'll make one. We'll make one at a time because we will eventually have to go to war with Lone Star, maybe Lubbock, and the Texan Brotherhood. We have a lot of waterways. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure... Of everything perfectly, but we're gonna start a border war. Oh, you are already three. Actually, Calix. Hmm. To be honest, though, if we do lose her, I think we do because when we get like the the final like leader for our nation, because Shale eventually does, <clears throat> let's say, leave. Because I actually have played this role through this already, so I kind of know what I'm doing, sort of. So. Yeah, she does get an upgrade. She's okay. She's not bad. She's really good on defense, but if we're going to maybe lose her, I think it's probably best to train someone else to become a field marshal. Just saying for now. Now that the TAA is no longer protected by the Republic of the Rio Grande, we can finally take a few chunks out of them. Yes, please. And since they're not having too many problems down there, why not? And we finally got rid of our debuff of attacking. Not bad. Oh, look at that. That's so good. So good right now. Los. Well, we gotta deal with them. Purchase weapon schematics. NCR. Actually, do we have any research coming up? In a few days, yes. The Battle for Hoover Dam. The fate of the Mojave lies in the balance. Now, it's on historical, so... Oh! Okay, so you don't... You just gave up on the dam, and you're just like, just kill them all. Y'all do you, then. Encryption. Very nice. After this, let's go ahead and do... Ooh, the secret wall ruins. Sanctify the city, probably, for less resistance, since we didn't puppet them. Which actually doesn't look too bad, but sanctify the city. The people of Los have absolutely no business working with us. They are lunatics after all. Let's do what we can to make this place ours. Very nice. Look at that naval XP. Look at that air XP. Look at that army XP. So good. We're still mobilizing. I hope we are. Oh, we are. Good. Yeah, and I will go to outside of battalions. That's just too good to pass up. Shale's looking really nice and... Not fail. Ooh, Ozona. Edward's Plateau. Ooh. Masticator. I'm going to go with this... Ooh, that's it. Masticator. Good luck, Masticator. As long as the other enemies are busy down there, we can probably take this. 
I mean, I don't mind just going to war with them right now. That'd be fine with me. But still. Ooh, political broads could be useful. Conscription laws? Well, we can't change that. Economy laws? We don't need to change that since we only have one level there. Let's see. Army chief cost? Eh. High command cost? Oh, conquest against the TAA. We were able to drive the TAA out of their land, taking it for our own. It was a short but incredibly decisive battle. We are the strongest. They no longer accord the TAA. Or, and they lost their claim. The infrastructure receives two level of damage, and it's also no longer a core of the Republic of the Rio Grande. We become owner of Edward's Plateau and get 5% more war support. Oh, don't lose. Oh. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is a colony state. So, hey, that's not bad. This is a colony state, so it doesn't really hurt us that badly. Nice. Nice. That's awesome, actually. That's really, really awesome. I'm glad we got it. Masticator looking so thick. So good. If we end up in a war against the Republic of the Rio Grande, I mean, I guess I, I would probably just puppet them, but whatever. Still get some more daily army XP, which isn't bad, but why? She's so needy. And we still get more weekly manpower per now, but we'll see what happens. So after that, the secret vault ruins. We're finally here. Atis's final resting place. It is a complete mess. Nearly the entire facility is in ruins. Still, there's some wreckage here that might prove useful to us. That'd be quite good. Three research slots. Uh, someone did say... Oh, actually, let's talk about this first. Reinforcement plus 20%. 20%. Or get 0.3 more recon per mutant battalion. Which would make it 3 times 10. That's like 3 recon. Oh, that is so good. And that can give us another support company. Or you get plus 20% reinforce rate. That is not bad. That is really not bad. But if we look further down here, you get less supply use. You get more soft attack, hard attack. And you can either choose more recovery rate or more experience gain, which is okay, and pen train penalty reduction. More recovery rate. You already get 20% more reinforced rate later. I mean, yeah, putting it on later was okay, So, but I think I'm, I'm going to go with recon. 20% is so good, but oh my gosh. Oh, so... Mmm. 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 I'm going to put that anti-tank on as well. But hey, as long as we keep lowering the resistance, getting more compliance, I mean, that, what else could you want, right? Even less, we got more compliance and resistance, which is incredibly important right now. Oh, there goes a grab your territory. And Kaiza's Legion has joined Kaiza's Legion. Well, good job, Kaiza. You joined your own Legion. Oh, no. No, stop removing civilian factories, please. <sighs> Alright, so we can't do that until we get this one done, which is fine. Let's grab some more outlet. Public projects. And the vacuum tubes will be done soon. After that, yeah, we're probably going to go straight for radio. Primitive radio, I should say. Wait, how are we already 22 minutes into this video? Like, it feels like I literally just started, like, a second ago. Like, oh my goodness. Time flies when you're having a good time, but, hmm. Do we have any other upgrades? We have enough command power for anyone else that might have upgrades that I skipped over before. Uh, but he's a cunning desert fox, a siege of Hidden Valley. It looks like Legion's probably going to do pretty well against them. Inspirational, perceptive. Maybe I should have not taken Smooth Talker for her, but, yeah, whatever. Hey, 0.92 is not bad. 70% stability, not great. <coughs> oh, hello! I just wanted to thank you for letting me upload myself to my old secret vault mainframe. It's really nice in here. Save for some burned out circuits, seared carbon corpses littering the facility, and all the encompassing premonition of dread I feel in the back of my memory banks. I appreciate this chance greatly. Do you like my new look? I figured I should dress for the occasion. My internal purchase fulfillment protocols have expanded several th times, several thousand times over. All thanks to this new hosting server base you got me. Come, let me whisper into your ear. Let me tell you all about the secrets I had never had the chance to tell Addis before he murdered my first iteration. Please accept my gift, courtesy of Volta. Okay, another razor slot. That's great. And oh, have you click on her? Oh, that is. Hmm, I'm liking Calyx now. I love the flesh. Well, that's kind of weird to say. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to... Ooh, an unfortunate reunion. Oh, God. I want to get some stability first. I think that's probably best. It feels like for every piece of rubble we put pull out of there, at least 20 shiny squeaking bobbleheads in its place. Some people say these can be good luck charm, whatever that means. God. Oh, man. You know why that would be really cool in Old World Blues? If they actually like said, like... Like, we have caps, like, if we could trade bobbleheads, maybe, I don't know, something like that, or where we could find bobbleheads and give us a little, like, benefits, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Like, uh, like, in, like, Fallout 76, you get some bobbleheads, and you can do really cool stuff with this, and stuff like that. Ooh, Followers of the Apocalypse, 
as much as I want them, it, I don't think it makes too much sense for us to use these guys. <sighs> It'd be best to keep these anarchists from our land. Hopefully we can... Actually, oh crap. Raid supplies. Let's go and do that. Seize a fort. Oh, we actually added civilian workshop. Yeah, go and do that. Hopefully they'll get the message and say bye-bye. I'd love to get more multi-population and a free civilian factory, but just considering what we're doing with Shell's army, and we're trying to achieve our ends, I'll put it like that. I don't think it really makes sense for us to do that, so. Or have them here. Hmm. Coffee's pretty good, but it's all gone. Fourth research slot. But like someone said in the comments below yesterday's video, there's a chance Calix will take away a civilian uh, a research slot, which is really not cool. <laughs> And they rejected them. Having worked out, we have been behind successful, successive attempts to undermine their influence and steal their supplies. The followers of the apocalypse have finally grown tired of our antics and left our lands. Whilst they can, are still happy to, to tend to our civilians in the bases set up around the border, they refuse to step inside our nation and protest. We say good riddance. Their anarchists kind of have no business here except attempting to overthrow us. Our people are somewhat annoyed at our choice of action, but at least they'll no longer be swayed by follower propaganda. Well, very, we did it. Get more mobilization speed, more stability, lose stability, get more war support, get more weekly war support, which is good, and, oh, technically we don't lose anymore, so. Basically, we lost stability for more war support. Could be worse, could be better, it is what it is. Whatever. Uh, give me that stability. And, weapons from the last operation? Why not? We have found a small number of weapons, or, uh, clearly of super mutant design, weapons from the last contingent Atis brought with him before he met his end. And one more division, don't mind if we do, with Mama Calix. That would be great. Especially as we're training more divisions. Make our guys even stronger. Hey, look. 22%. Not bad. Almost a political power day. Almost. If that's the case, I'm just going to go ahead and throw on some armor here. Gear us conviction. Oh, we, we need some demo companies too. But this is too good to pass up. Oh, we're not going to have enough. That's Actually, doing that means... Oh, no. Not another one. Come on, Calyx. Come on, man. Woman, come on. Um, that, we, that means if we have a deficit of... Uh, Anti-tank right now. We can't make any more divisions until we have enough. Which is kind of okay with me. We don't need any more costs right now. We already have 32 divisions, which is pretty good. And actually, by taking this territory, that limits... Or that took away one more access point for the Republic of the Rio Grande to attack TAA Estate. So, that's not too bad, actually. Military Society. I mean, Promise of Loot is pretty good to do. Oh, no! We're going to lose... Oh, we're not going to get any more manpower from that stuff, which really kind of sucks, but that's okay. Automated training holograms. What luck! We found a hologram emitter used for training the vault security personnel. We can train our troops with this. And the goes to Mojave Chapter 20 more army XP, which doesn't matter. And gets more resources, which is not bad. Not bad. So how are they doing? Oh. Well, there goes Mojave. Anything else that we should be... Oh, New Hammond, of course, fighting. Uh, Shoshone and the... Bone Dancers. Oh, the Troll Warren's still here. Marlick Tribe looking pretty thick. And you guys, well, you guys took out the Grand Inquisition. Yeah. Old Country seems very interesting. No, no. No, oh, are you kidding? I mean, she's good on defense, don't get me wrong, but come on. Come on! Why are you paying me so much, Calyx? So much pain. So much pain. Let's see, how much further? How many more days? Uh, about two weeks, that's not bad. After this, we'll do an unfortunate reunion. It turns out that this top-level facility isn't all there is to the vault. Looking deeper, we can see there is clearly some sort of deeper bottom facility. Maybe we can find what really happened to Addis. Perhaps even find his remains, maybe. That would be pretty good. It only takes 30 days, so... Yeah, we gotta start coring some of the territory. Now, hold on. Like, once we get down to the later part of the, the focus tree, like ethos of the army, that's a lot of political power. Let's go do that. Oh, and well, let's, do, let's do our land doctrine first before I talk about other stuff. Uh, Battle of Scavenging. Pretty good. Pretty useful, I'd say. Uh, so, so we go over here. Ethos of the Army. Ancient techniques of the Ironmongers. We cores all states, also cored by the Ironmongers. As well, same thing by Eden, which we'll probably go to war with next. And Unity of Austin. So that's not too bad. We have the Road of Conquest for Lone Star, Texan Brotherhood. And every Texan state we get a claim on. Faith of the Army, though. All core land of the Ironmongers and Unity of Austin has to be under us. In which we can do Strength and Supremacy, Strength and Unity, or Strength and Insanity, 
uh, which I don't think we can actually do. That's that's a lot of war support because we have not done Puppet the Church of the Lost, which is over here. So let me know in the comments below. Should we do Strength and Unity or Strength and Supremacy? Let me know in the comments below because by the next episode, we might actually be able to get down there. Maybe, maybe not. So I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. So we got an unfortunate reunion. I kind of want to see what happens. We are training, which is kind of nice. And these guys have anti-tank, which is okay. Primitive radio is really good, though. That's a little bit ahead of time still. Infantry stuff. Let's grab some more. But ooh, that's infantry. We're super mutants. Ooh, basic weaponry, slashing melee. You know, I'm gonna go with slashing melee. If we when we play as another super mutant nation in Texas, that from Addis's army, we'll probably choose those gun versions. We'll see what happens. Probably maybe these guns. I like the blue guns. I don't own a blue gun. Why would you have a blue gun? That seems very odd. But hey, don't make me question you. Still mobilizing more, which is awesome, because we're going to need it. Need more anti-tank, which is fine. we got plenty of infantry equipment for now. We're going to bump you up to three, perhaps. I'll bump you down to four for now. And actually bump you down to three, so we can keep making some more support equipment. There you go. Standardized tools. Don't mind if we do. Uh, just do. go ahead and do backyard workshops. It's fine. Get even more output. We need more anti-tank stuff anyway, so... Oof, hey, an unfortunate reunion. Shale had been hoping to bury Addis' remains when he found them. He never expected to find what he did at the bottom of the secret vault's ruins. Addis, it seems, had undergone, undergone some sort of biological evolution, using extreme amounts of highly advanced FEV in order to become some sort of monstrous mutant. Addis' re remains covered the entirety of the lower levels of the secret vault. Burn fragments of this blob-like mass trying to regenerate and rebuild to no effect. The nerve endings that normally allow for such connections have been burned when the secret vault was destroyed. A sad way for a hero to go. Oh, we become mournful. Oh, wow. That's not bad. It's only 5% recovery rate, but that's okay. Ooh, we get bonus against... Oh, we get the corresponding advisor so that we can, can get a bonus against the Texan Brotherhood as well as the Lone Star Folk. And the corresponding advisor for this one, defending against the monster, which is not bad, but we could, probably can wait. But let's go ahead and eradicate Eden. With the master or the matter of Addis's remains is dealt with, we can focus on continuing our conquest. Scarlet has been a pain in our side for far too long, keeping us from successfully reintegrating our wayward mutant brothers by standing stalwart in her mutated forest. Let's show her what it means to stand up to a titan. And actually, before we forget, let's stop training these guys. That would probably be good. Go ahead and stop doing that. We actually have quite a few planes. Not bad. Oh, customer inquiry. Hello! You do not to look happy with your recent top shop tech purchase. Is this not what you wanted to have another meeting with the one you valued so highly? I will meet Addis again with this ability. You made an unusual purchase request for Calyx. Nonetheless, they will try to fulfill it. It is what it is. I'm stuck in this one. I will take the options that does hurt us that does hurt us more, so. I'm a little crazy, but you know what they said this was a hard path, and hard it will be. And are we, we looks like we're, we looks like, ooh, uh, go and stop training for now. Once they start attacking our lines, we should do okay, yeah. How many divisions do these folks have? Eden, Eden, Mama Eden, oh, that's not bad. Uh, we definitely have more divisions than them, which is good. How, how, how thick are these divisions, though? Well, one, between one and 35 battalions, that's, that's a big range, I'm not gonna lie, that's a huge range. That can mean a lot, that can mean a little. But our guys do get some recons, which is kind of nice, right? They got three recon, which, I don't know. I think recon actually helps out quite a bit, so. I'm going to flood down here, which will be great. How is the current situation? Beautiful. Uh, let's go and... We're going to wait and lower resistance first, as much as possible, and then raise stuff, like raise or switch to sporadic outposts. So we got to wait for this stuff. We can get this stuff, which is okay. Not a drop to drink. I'm gonna go with civilian specialization. I think that's better. Now that we've fostered an effective and eager force for scouring the waste, the question remains if its primary focus should be technologies for rebuilding the world or conquering it. The answer is simple. We should focus our efforts on rebuilding the world as we see fit. Very good. We might as well go to war now, right? Now they immediately attack us, which is fine with me. I don't really care. But go ahead and do that again. Thank you very much. Let them waste themselves on our line. Grab some. Oh, another factory. Why not? Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, if they want to press into us, if Eden Mama there or Scarlet of Eden wants to press into, no. What? 
Did you know it's my birthday? I invited all your friends back home so they could come and buy all of them. I do mean all of them. Uh, what the heck? Why? What the? <laughs> what? In the middle of a what? <laughs> oh no 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 no! Why? Of all things, it'd be one thing if we lost political power, but why? Force the attack. Screw it. We're just gonna go ahead. Force it. Force them. Force them to bend to our will. I'm not gonna tell them to bend over, but bend to our will. Will, not well. Yeah, bend to our will as well. I mean, whatever happens between us and Scarlet, whatever happens is, you know. Oh, it's a glitch too. That's all right. I mean, we're gonna win anyway, so I'm not too worried about this. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. It's actually easier than when I try to off-screen. I guess second time to charm for me, at least. Oh, you guys. Go and do that, and then you guys go and do that. There you go. You should probably do okay. Yeah, force attack does like kill off your own strength, but I think in this case, I think we'll be okay. How many men have we lost? Or super mutants? I should really say less than a hundred. That's not bad. A hundred super mutants for taking out Eden. Not too bad. Encrypted information? Why not? Sadly, not all of our stuff that we found here is really usable or usable. A lot of it is heavily encrypted pre-war business information that is feasibly no use to us at the current age. However, trying to hack into that information is actually pretty good practice for our encryption skills, even if we don't need the information itself. And this we got a positive amount of political power for now, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and go to Carville. Carville? Carville. Carville. You know what? Where, you know where I like to go? Place where they care. Or Kerr. I'm going to grab even more political power because I want to raise up our um, outsider battalions. Is that it? No, we got to get to Brady, huh? No problemo. Simple slashing melee weaponry. Don't mind if we do. We could grab that, but not yet. Let's grab some of this. Most your training? Sure, why not? Since we have a positive-ish amount, we'll do that. There you go. Hey, crop rotation. Don't mind if we do. Let's grab some more outpost. Or outpost. Output. That'd be good. Make sure they can't move. And beautiful. We've captured the three victory points. And that's all we need. I think we've done, or we have become very successful. That's why I blew up the army so large earlier. Because I'm pretty sure this is what we exactly needed. Now, that being said... If I go to war with these guys... That could spark a war between us and their allies, which would not be very good, because they are in the Texan Economic Union, with the tube heads as well. I don't want to go to war with these guys, so just in case, I don't think they'll actually go to war with us, but it's always good to be prepared, right? And any other divisions, I'll form a new army too, so. And if they don't go to war with us, well, then that, that's pretty good. So now, everyone can train, and we can put down a lot of resistance. Let's see. It's almost done. You guys are almost done. This area is just beginning. And we're getting 1.4. Goes up to 1.7. Goes up to 2.1. Happy 2278, my friend. Friends, it's going to be a great new year hope for us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. I, I mean, I know we need more stability, but... Non-core manpower... 10% more would be very nice right now. More compliance would be so nice right now. This is a very different... This is a different way than what I normally play. That's alright. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to grab outside of battalions first before anything else. There you go. Good. Battlefield scavenging. Great. Let's grab some selective exposure. More soft attack. More hard attack. Ooh, wouldn't love that. And fruits of our labor. Ooh. Local supplies goes up by 33%. Tame the beast. Ooh, monstrous plants. Let's go with fruits of our labor first. They say this forest was grown by a man known as Reese, a strange cypher who hoped to bring the earth to paradise. Admittedly, a goal added a share. Let's partake in his fruit. Very good. So now we're probably going to need... Ooh, that's not good, it's especially if they're still fighting the TAA. Oh boy, Santa Ana comes knocking. We're going to need way more support equipment, which is unfortunate that we got rid of the followers of the apocalypse, because they could give you some equipment if you had enough stuff, but whatever. And go do the scavenging program at this point. We might as well. Because we currently have 66 caps, which is enough, and we have 8 caps every quarter, which is not bad. Okay, so if we get a, if we attack, we should... Uh, mm -hmm, how many divisions do these guys have? I doubt we'll actually be able to hold against Unity of Austin, led by Keats. They don't have that much manpower. They have a lot of divisions, though. That is a little worrying, so I'm going to go do this. There we go. Okay. We're going to need another army group, probably. Yeah, we're probably going to need it. Actually, how is our anti-tank doing? Hey, we're doing really, really well in anti-tank, actually. 
If that's a case, I'm going to lower you to three. So we make some more support equipment. We're going to need that pretty much immediately. So we can make some more monstrous plants as well. Backyard workshops just in time. Beautiful. Can we do that one? No, let's not do that one. Irrigation? Might as well, right? Might as well. Mobilizing anymore? Barely, 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 but that's still okay. Let's come back over here. Sporadic outpost. It's time for that here. Very good. Nice. And tame the beasts. Not all within this force is kind. Scarlet was protecting it for a reason. These, There are great beasts, monsters, and devils within this land. Let us show them the true kings of the jungle and add their strength to our own. Very good. Very good. Pacification, sporadic outpost. We don't, we don't really need to see that. If I can, I will probably actually go ahead and... Oh, we got like 40 more guys because of doing that. Maybe. Uh, core of this territory. Like I said earlier, we can core stuff later on, but we'll see what happens. Ooh. Hmm. So, you are here, and we're going to need you on the line anyways. Dum dum. Hey, look. We, he's Ska. Ooh, that's quite cool. Ooh, where's a good place that they'll probably attack us right here? Because this is, has like three tiles touching. Okay, so this is one tile touching three enemy tiles. That's probably where they're really going to try to focus attacking us. We're going to grab Rooted. Oh, I should took Inspirational. It's only 10% more, though. That'll, that'll be okay. It's only 10%. We'll be okay. And we have a whole 1% stability. Not bad, right? Not bad. Let's train. Yes, please. I want crowd control gear, though. That would be pretty good, actually, though. Oh, we can actually get some civilized planes. Might as well, right? Might as well. Actually, plane-wise, we're still doing pretty darn well. Do we have any air bases over here? No, we do not, which is kind of a problem. Maybe we should fix that. Ooh, actually, maybe we should fix this first. There you go. Assassin City declare war on Texan Brotherhood. Well, good luck with that. We probably only need level one base here. That'll be fine. Actually, put it up here. Put it up there. That, that's better. After that, go ahead and do some stuff here. And then maybe some stuff in Odessa. And Eden and stuff like all that. Yeah, eventually. We'll build some more stuff up like that. We only have 29 factories, which is not very much. Tame the beast, though, my friends. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Monstrous plants. The three-way unity war for this. Oh, we break the truce once we formed once with other remnants of the Addis army and begin hostilities once again. This will immediately start a three-way war between us, the Ironmongers, and Unity of Austin. Hold on, hold, hold the, the uh, super mutant phone. How many divisions do they have down here? Oh, that's a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. So, oh, where are there? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's risk it. If it doesn't go well, though, then you probably won't see me trying and failing. So if we have, like, enough divisions done there, that wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Well, we're making six divisions anyways. We'll see what happens. The three-way unity war for unity. Three-way war for unity. It's time we brought together the Shattered Army, showed our brothers who is on top. But that's where we're going to end today's episode, guys. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we might course some territory, but we're probably going to end up in an extremely bloody, but hopefully successful, war. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.